So, the the silver dollar was real. Huh? The silver dollar was real. Yeah. And how long did you have it for? Until somebody stole out that pack, because I gave um, it to my dad. You remember when your granddaddy died? Your grandma died. Okay, I know exactly. You gave me that bag of money, that silver dollar that was in there. So, if you don't know what we're referring to right now, referring to right now, go check out Grandpa's channel. He just told a story about about me gonna put my foot up there. Right little bastards. He told the story about the time what he would describe as a ghost gave him. He didn't look like no ghost to me. He looked real. I mean, a person who's been dead <coughs> gave him a silver dollar. Now, I just asked him what he did with it. What he, now? It was an 18, 1842 silver dollar. I remember seeing the silver dollar. Yeah, because Grandma had it. Uh, Dad used to have in the old house. We don't know what happened to the money. We think it was stolen by somebody in the family. That's all we're going to say. We're not going to say names. Somebody in the family stole it. We're not sure exactly who, but we have a good idea. It was a it was a bunch of money. It was like a, for he had like a bag of like nickel pennies and silver dollars. I was and, to my daddy, and he my grandma had them. My mama had them. And then when she died, I got them. And they were stolen. So the silver dollar that the man gave you was in that. Yeah. Wow, that's <laughs> crazy. But yeah, that was. But to, but to pick his picture out of it, out of a photograph book. Yeah, that's the man I, that, that gave me the silver dollar. He'd been dead for 10 years. And that I wasn't the only little boy that he'd given a dollar to. Well, that is quite insane. I got a lot of stories like that, Michael, that happened when I was coming up. You grew up in a weird time. and You grew up in a crazy rural part of South Carolina. A lot of shit happened. A lot of shit happened back in them old days. Remind me to tell you about my trip to Alice's grave one night. You went to Alice's grave? Sure did. I lost the ring, too. You did not. I'll bet you money, buddy. I'll bet you, you fucking money. You I'll bet not. you goddamn money in a minute. Yeah. I'll bet you. I'll bet you. Let's go. The Hermitage. Let's go do that. I'll tell you about that. Remind me to tell you about that time I went to some of the light. When the light came across your car, you, your car engine would die. These are all South Carolina urban legends. That I've seen. This one he's referring to is Alice of the Hermitage. The story is that she was dating a man that her family didn't approve, a very Romeo and Juliet-ish, and he proposed to her, and I think he was, what, did he get killed or something? No, no, the daddy, daddy ran him off. But he had to have died, didn't he? No, he didn't die. The but dad, she killed herself. Right, because the dad told her that he that the man... Uh, they the took, I know, they took the ring and they chucked it into like a rake, a lake or something. Oh, no, they chucked it out in the field. And, and then they buried her in that same area. And they say that her soul is still searching for the ring. She goes from the church to the graveyard. And now they've got a big fence around her grave now. Because if, if you had a wedding ring on, you touch her grave, the ring would disappear. I, that I've, happened. I've heard lots of people say that I happened. had a ring. There were a bunch of us. And we gone. I heard it's like you got a circle it or something. And or? now and now they got a, they got a fence around her grave that nobody can get to it. So you've been to the Hermitage. Yep. That is sick. I've been there, done that. Then I'll tell you about some of the light. Which is right down the street here, right next to the interstate. Why don't we go do that? Because you can't get back there no more. They got all that shit over with. There's, there's got houses there now. I'll tell you tomorrow night. <laughs> no, you will not. You're going to tell I'll me tell now. There's a story tomorrow night about the Somerville light. Good night, Mike. You're going to tell me tonight. Hey. Hey, I want to hear this. Would you go home? I want to hear the story. You got me hooked. Tomorrow night, Michael. You got me hook, line, and sinker. Tomorrow night. Good night, buddy. I'll see you tomorrow.